Hey, it's time for another ballistics gel test. Today we're going to be shooting normal whitetail 140 grain 6.5 Creedmoor. And here is that box, the normal whitetail ammo 6.5 Creedmoor. When we flip it around, it's got your ballistics data, it's got your promo information here. You can pause and zoom in and read that stuff if you want to. But let's pop some ammo out and take a look at it real quick. Here we go. And Norma ammo just always looks really good. I always harp on that. It comes in these really nifty little five round ammo holders. You can break them, throw them in a range bag, stuff like that. You can use the plastic as a fire starter. Norma has a video on YouTube showing you that. And the brass and bullets on all Norma ammo just always looks just so nice. And the test rifle today is going to be my Ruger American, chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. Of course, we've got a 22-inch barrel up top. I've got a Leopold VX Freedom 3 to 9 by 40. And bringing up the rear, of course, I've got one of my Mason leather cartridge cuffs. This rifle's name is Pig Ugly. You can kind of see it behind the cartridges there. Check out my website, masonleather.com, to get one for yourself. I would love to make you one. And I want to show you over here on the other side, we've got my wild boar design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here we are down at the blocks. This normal whitetail out of the 6.5 Creedmoor did slap them around a little bit. I will align them so that we can test penetration or measure penetration rather. But good news, we captured all three bullets. And I've got the tape measure set up to measure penetration. I flipped the blocks on their side so that we can see the bullets better. But we got absolutely incredible penetration out of this normal whitetail 6.5 Creedmoor. We got right at 25 inches for this one the next one that's deeper right there is about 25 and a half and then this one right here it's it's over 26 we'll give it 26 and a quarter inches and coming over to the first block it looks like expansion started pretty quickly it goes about two inches almost three inches and then it opens up and we've got between about the four and nine inch mark a good wound cavity being that a white-tailed deer is only 12 to 14 inches wide i say that's pretty good and let's check out the velocities from that Norma Whitetail out of the 6.5 Creedmoor. It is a little bright. Hopefully you can see this. So the high velocity was 25.64. The low was 25.39. And the average was 2,549 feet per second. And here we're looking at those three Norma Whitetail 140 grain bullets recovered from the ballistics gel. And these things just look perfect. I have been consistently surprised with how good these Norma Whitetail soft point bullets perform. I fired them in a number of calibers so far and the 6.5 Creedmoor version definitely keeps living up to the hype. So first we'll talk about weight retention. Respectively, we saw 122 grains, 121 grains, and 127 grains for an average of 123 grains of weight retention, and that works out to 88% retained weight. And for a non-bonded soft point budget hunting ammo, that is just stellar performance. Now we'll talk about expansion. Respectively, we saw 0.59 inches, 0.6 inches, and 0.73 inches for an average of 0.64 inches of expansion. That is 2.4x expanded diameter on average. Outstanding performance from a budget hunting bullet. Now we'll talk about velocity. Our high velocity was 2,564 feet per second. Our low was 2,539 for an average of 2,549 feet per second versus the factory build velocity of 2,756 feet per second. So we came in way, way, way lower than factory spec, 207 feet per second slow to be exact. No surprise, we almost never hit factory spec velocity or even come relatively close. 
the factories are using barrels that are way too long under ideal test conditions it's just not realistic but this particular ammo was substantially slower um, than I typically see I don't like to see something over 200 feet per second slower than stated velocity and now we'll talk about penetration. These bullets perform just absolutely incredibly in terms of penetration. We saw 25 inches, 25 and a half inches, and 26 and a quarter inches for an average of 25 and three fifths inches of penetration. It was incredibly consistent performance between the three bullets. I think that if you want a budget hunting ammo for your 6.5 Creedmoor that you can rely on and know it's just gonna perform across the board, this normal whitetail stuff might be the ticket. All right, y'all, final thoughts on the normal whitetail 140 grain load out of the 6.5 Creedmoor. I almost said 30-06. I filmed a bunch of those videos, but we're talking about the 6.5 Creedmoor. The normal whitetail bullet just performs way above its price point, and I think way above its weight class. We saw 88% weight retention on a supposedly non-bonded cup and core bullet. That's extremely good. I mean, this stuff is going to knock something socks off when it hits. And then as far as penetration goes, I couldn't believe it. We got over 25 inches of penetration on average. That is incredible. That's incredible for the type of bullet that it is. It's incredible for the expansion that we got. Everything. I mean, this stuff just punches way, way above its weight. If you're looking for an affordable, budget-minded hunting ammo that performs as good or better than a lot of more expensive stuff, give Norma Whitetail a try, especially in 6.5 Creedmoor. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.